Hello, hello, beautiful people, and welcome to today's video here on environmentalism with Shalom, where we are consciously seeking innovative ways of creating and maintaining a more healthier and a more harmonious relationship with Mother Nature. And today, I just want to start by thanking everyone that subscribed to my channel, that engaged with my videos. You'll be out here giving positive vibes. Like, I'm here for it. I'm inspired. I am motivated to continue doing what I'm doing because you'll get the point, you'll get the vision, and that is the most amazing thing anyone can ever ask for and I really really appreciate you appreciating my work and what I'm trying to do anyways to those that have not subscribed do the right thing don't be shy subscribe hit the notification bell so that every time I post a video you are notified today's topic is cigarettes and the environment how cigarettes are actually threatening the quality of our environment because normally when we talk about cigarette smoking most people immediately think about the health risks it poses on the human body and not really how it affects the environment and you know we are all about the topics that no one really talks about anyways without talking too much let's just get right to today's video so we all know that plastic pollution has been a persistent global problem since i don't even know when and it is because plastic does not decompose or degrade. And because of this fact, scientists believe that every single piece of plastic ever made still exists till this day. Although we have been warned time and time again about the negative effects plastic has on our environment and on our health, we just seem not to give a judge. Because we continue producing and consuming plastic at an ever increasing rate, it is unbelievable. It's just like, wow, why? Like, are you trying to tell me since the 1950s with the technology that we have, they have not found a way to replace plastic? Just ban the use of plastic, okay? Anyways, getting to my point, if I asked you, what do you think is the most common form of plastic out here in the world? You are going to think plastic bottles, straws, plastic bags, or packaging. Although these contribute greatly towards plastic pollution, they don't even come close to cigarette butts. Cigarette butts are the most littered item and the most abundant form of plastic waste polluting our global environment. Obviously, while most of a cigarette's inards and paper wrapping disintegrate when smoked, not everything gets burnt. The butt remains and cigarette butts are toxic plastic pollution. Trillions of cigarette butts are thrown into the environment every year where they leach nicotine and heavy metals before turning into microplastic pollution. And I know you might be thinking, but wait a minute, aren't cigarette butts made of cotton? Cotton. Cotton. But anyways, no, but they are not. We have been deceived. Actually, we have not even been deceived because all this information is there, out there for you to read. But because we never read about shit, then we never know about nothing. But anyways, you see that white part that looks like cotton? It is a form of plastic called cellulose acetate, which is commonly used for photographic films. Talk about weirdness. The cellulose acetate toe fibers are thinner than sewing thread, white and pegged tightly together to create a filter. They can look like cotton. Other materials have been tried and rejected in favor of the taste that acetate produces. Cigarette butts can take 18 months to 10 years to decompose, but only into smaller pieces of plastic, which can easily dilute into our soil and water, and obviously causing water pollution and soil degradation. When tossed into the environment, cigarette butts release toxic chemicals such as arsenic, which is used to kill rats and lead, just to mention a few, and then break into microplastics, leading to land, water, and air pollution. Research has shown that chemicals such as nicotine, pesticide residue, and metal can seep from the cigarette butts into aquatic ecosystems and become extremely toxic to the fish and the microorganisms. One study actually showed that cigarette butts soaked in either fresh water or salt water for 96 hours have a lethal concentration that kills about 50% 
of the exposed fish. The study also states that cigarette butts are one of the largest causes of heavy metal contamination in water. Honestly, I don't even know what is the fuss with the cigarette filters. I don't understand why after so long that this problem has been existing like people have been knowing and i mean big people who can actually do something about this they have been knowing about this problem for the longest time and you don't even hear anyone talking about these things you literally have to dig deep you know to find such things i mean did you even know that in 2019 there was a ban the butt campaign in south africa to actually ban cigarette filters but did we even hear about it anyway? Did you see in the news? Did you hear? Like, Dolor, these things are not available to the public. And most of the smokers as well, I think that they don't, they don't even know that that is a problem that we have and that they can actually do something about it. You know, cigarette filters for me are actually a scam, scamming the people, scamming the environment. And the only people benefiting from this is the tobacco industry. And I say this because filters were invented in response to public concerns around smoking and lung cancer in the 1950s as a safer form of smoking. Although they have maintained the name filter, it has been proven that they do not reduce any impurities or poisons in tobacco products. Filters quickly became a marketing tool designed to keep and recruit smokers they mask the harshness of tobacco making it easy to start and continue smoking in fact the 2014 Surgeon General's report found that filters enabled smokers to inhale cigarette smoke more deeply into the lung tissue, increasing the risk of lung cancer. Filters only help block the largest tar particles, letting through smaller bits of tar that can travel deeper into your lungs. I don't even want to start talking about cigarette packaging because it is just as bad cigarette packaging is bleached laminated and coated in synthetic ink and also responsible for four percent world deforestation rate trees are cut down to make room for tobacco to make the paper to roll the cigarettes and for the packaging it is estimated that one tree is cut down to make 300 cigarettes now let's do the math and try to understand our current situation smokers around the world buy approximately 6.5 trillion cigarettes a year that is 18 billion a day 18 billion a day and of that 23.49 billion cigarettes are consumed in south africa per year and an estimated 65 percent of cigarettes consumed are littered on the streets so that is 15 billion cigarette butts thrown away on the streets of south africa just littered in jeb zapakeles just because somebody couldn't just put it in the beat now if it takes one tree to make 300 cigarettes how many trees do you think it takes to make 6.5 trillion cigarettes i mean like you do the math you freaking do the math because I can't. This is just a lot. Most cigarette smokers do not properly dispose of their cigarette waste. Now, literally every smoker that I have came across, I've never seen one of them properly disposing of their cigarette butts. You know, they have this thing of just flickering the cigarette and you can see what a wow, Mutu is really having a magical moment. A true power moment truly a skill but jokes aside that contributes to an estimated 4.5 trillion cigarette butts improperly disposed around the world so check yourself before you flick that cigarette on the streets check yourself before you wreck all of us check yourself check yourself and properly dispose of that cigarette butt in South Africa, cigarette butts continue to be the third most common item of litter found on beaches during cleanups. The pollution problem has only gotten worse in recent years as e-cigarettes have become more popular because those two are largely made of plastic. It's just a different form of the same thing. 
And because we are all victims of planned and perceived obsolescence, the buying and discarding of e-cigarettes is inevitable. Therefore, literally tripling the amount of plastic pollution that ends up in our natural environment. So plant obsolescence is a policy of planning or designing a product with an artificially limited useful life basically designed for the dump, making things as useless as possible. So you can go back and buy again. Because trust me, if these companies made long-lasting, quality as recyclable e-cigarettes, then we wouldn't even have this problem. And probably they would even run out of business because they are chasing money and not value. Perceived obsolescence is innovation that makes you want the new thing, the new design, and makes you throw away the old and perfectly working item to keep up with the trends. So what can you do as a smoker to be part of the solution? First of all, you can just roll your own. Rolling your own can save you money which is always a good thing because a pouch of rolling tobacco and cigarette papers is much cheaper than buying brand names or generic cigarettes number two don't use e-cigarettes unless they are recyclable last but definitely not the least number three just don't stress yourself and simply shift to woodland craft cigarettes the world's first biodegradable and all-natural cigarettes from Smoky Treats, founded by Adam van Veengarden and David Scott, launched in December 2018 and it is now available in over 1,300 stores around South Africa. For all my beautiful, beautiful smokers out there, Woodland Craft Cigarettes is the way. Because only natural materials are used to manufacture their products. I mean, we all know that there is over 600 plus additives sprayed onto tobacco. And they are out here giving you some natural product. It's all natural, okay? And trust me, it is good for the environment. Basically, Smoky Treats is trying to, not even trying, they are literally raising awareness about environmentally friendly smoking. I mean, they saw a problem. They didn't just talk about it. They didn't just complain about it. They did something about it. And what I really, really appreciate about Smoky Treats and their product, Woodland uh, Craft Cigarettes, is that they are one of the companies that are actually chasing value instead of money. As part of their contribution towards environmental sustainability, Woodland Craft Cigarettes donates a percentage of their income towards planting trees. I mean, they are literally reversing the damage that has been caused by the tobacco industry. And trust me, they don't have to, but they are. And to me, honestly, they are literally one of the greatest stewards of Mother Earth. Check where you spend your money. There are so many companies that are about the environment, sustainable smoking, as we are talking about woodland craft cigarettes. If I was a smoker, trust me, I would be smoking me some woodland craft cigarettes. Okay, these guys are amazing. Their main aim is to curb plastic pollution and educate people about caring for the environment. See, what makes Woodland Craft Cigarettes really different from any other type of cigarette brands out there is that their filter is made up of biodegradable wood pulp, which over time will completely disintegrate. There are no additives in the locally African sourced tobacco. There's no bleaching paper, no plastic in the packaging. It's actually recycled cardboard and no synthetic inks. After you have switched to Woodland Craft Cigarettes, please make sure that butts go in the garbage, never on the ground. But make sure to put your smoke out before tossing it. Cigarette butts cause a surprising number of fires every year and nobody wants that in their conscience. Okay? Anyways, we have come to the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching till the end. Baby, I always, always appreciate that. Please comment your thoughts. What do you think about cigarette butts being the most abundant form of plastic? What do you think about Woodland Craft cigarettes? If you are a smoker, are you going to try Woodland Craft cigarettes? Comment down below. Let's engage. Let's conversate. If you do have any questions, do holler at me. I'll be very very happy to answer you and even if i don't know the question i always do my research because researching is my thing please 
do subscribe like comment hit the notification bell so that every time i post a video you my king you my queen are notified thank you so much and bye